Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on the Gemini Jets Air Transit Airbus A321neo slash LR new engine option slash long range aircraft featuring the Sharklet wingtip devices and a 1200 scale model. I purchased this model from Easy Toys and their website address is www.easytoys.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, please allow me to share with you some information about the history of Air Transit and how they actually became a Canadian charter lease-based airline. Air Transit is actually a Canadian charter leisure-based airline that was actually founded sometime in December 1986 by Francois Lugo, along with other business partners such as John Nart, Eustache, Philip Shuwo, Nina de Cisarhe, Yvonne Luca Valle and Pierre Menard and officially commenced operations as an airline carrier nearly one year later on November 14, 1987 with its first inaugural flight when it actually flew from Montreal, Canada to Acapulco, Mexico as Air Transit is actually a subsidiary of its parent company Transit AT Incorporated. Air Transit is currently one of the major flag carrier airlines for the country of Canada as well as the country's third largest airline carrier after Air Canada and WestJet Airlines respectively, whereas the corporate headquarters of Air Transit is actually located in the Montreal Borough of St. Lawrence, while the carrier's main hub and base of operations is located nearby on the grounds of the Montreal Trudeau International Airport Complex, which is located approximately 12 miles southwest of the Central Business Downtown District section of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, which is situated between the Montreal suburban cities of Dorbo and St. Lawrence. And the focus city hubs of air transit are located at Quebec City John Lusage International Airport, located in Saint-Ifra, Quebec, Canada, and Toronto Pearson International Airport, located in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And at the time of this video review posting, Air Transit currently flies to 66 destinations worldwide in 25 countries throughout Canada, the Caribbean, Central America, Europe, Mexico, South America, as well as the United States of America, with an operating fleet of 37 aircraft, which includes an all-Airbus fleet that includes 23 Airbus A321s, in which 8 of those are the Airbus A321-200 variant, while the remaining 15 are the Airbus A321neo-LRs, new engine options slash long-range aircraft variant, including this one you're looking at here. And in addition to the 37 aircraft that currently operates in the air transit fleet, the Montreal-based carrier also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 7 more aircraft, which includes 4 more Airbus A321neo-LRs, new engine options slash long-range aircraft, as well as three of the next generation Airbus A321neo slash XLRs, new engine options slash extra long-range aircraft variant, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also at the time of this video review posting, Air Transit is one of 147 airlines in the world of aviation that currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier according to the International Airline Review Firm, Skytrax Magazine, and the Airbus destination code for Air Transit for this particular aircraft is 71X. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box, and what you're looking at is the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal, the Air Transit billboard tile and its logo, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, the 1200 scale diecast model aircraft and item number information you see at the front of the box. Alright, now looking at the back of the box and what you see is the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal, some more little additional information there as well, along with the social media pages of Gemini Jets. You can pause and read all that information if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, alright? Hello, now you're looking at the uh, top of the box where you see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal, the adult collectible model and warning information, as well as the item number information you see at the top of the box. Now you're looking at the bottom of the box, which is you see the, uh, the little button box there that opens up the box, as well as the Gemini 200 gold engraved decal, okay? All right, now you're looking at the left side of the box, which you see is the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal, the one 200 scale diecast model and item number information, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, as well as the aircraft type you see there. 
All right, now you're looking at the right side of the box, pretty much the same information on the left side of the box I showed you earlier on, okay? All right, with all that information out of the way about their history of air transit and how they actually became a Canadian charter leisure-based airline carrier and all the details here on the packaging box, with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging box. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The Gemini Jets Air Transit Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option slash long range jetliner aircraft featuring the sharply wingtip devices and a 1 200 scale model. All right. Allow me to share with you some information about the Air Transit Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option long range aircraft and how it became a part of their fleet. Canadian-based leisure airline carrier Air Transit officially became the very first airline carrier in North America that acquired this prestigious state-of-the-art next-generation narrow-body type jetliner aircraft after Montreal-based airline carrier took delivery of its first of 19 of the next-generation Airbus A321neo slash LRs new engine option slash long-range aircraft that Air Transit had previously placed orders for back on July 11, 2017 and received their very first Airbus A321 Neo slash LR new engine option slash long-range aircraft which bared the registration ship number C-GOIE at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility that's located in Hamburg, Germany on May 3, 2019. Then fast forward 12 days later. That's when Air Transit's first inaugural international flights on this aircraft actually took place, which was on May 15, 2019. And that's where Air Transit officially began utilizing this particular aircraft on their Montreal to Nantes, France route, which was followed on that same day by their Montreal to Bordeaux, France route, replacing the Airbus A310-300 as well as their Airbus A330-200 that was previously utilized on these particular routes as Montreal, Toronto Pearson, as well as Quebec City, has actually become the actual gateway basis for, the, for this particular aircraft type, with the lion's share of their Airbus A321neo slash LR's new engine option slash long range aircraft are currently based and operates currently mostly out of their main operating hub, base hub, at Montreal Trudeau International Airport in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Air Transit has ordered a total of 19 Airbus A321neo slash LR new engine option slash long range aircraft to add to their fleet. And at the time of this video review posting, only 15 are currently operating in service while the remaining four are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery as this particular aircraft, the Airbus A321neo slash LR new engine option slash long range aircraft has become the aircraft that has unfortunately replaced the carrier's entire fleet of Airbus A310-300, which was officially withdrawn from the carrier's fleet on March 30, 2020, as this aircraft is expected to become one of the official flagship jetlines for the Montreal-based airline carrier in the foreseeable future. Now let's talk about the commemorative revised livery scheme of air transit you see on this aircraft. This is the commemorative revised livery scheme of the Canadian-based airline carrier Air Transit which was actually unveiled on November 13, 2017 at a special unveiling ceremony that was held at the airline's headquarters facility, which is located on the grounds of the Montreal Trudeau International Airport complex as the Canadian-based airline carrier Air Transit reached a prestigious milestone when the airline celebrated its 30th anniversary, which is actually a commemoration of when Air Transit officially commenced operations as an airline carrier 30 years earlier on November 14, 1987, as the airline's revised livery scheme actually reflects the recent evolution of the transit brand image and continues to remain faithful to the company's promise, which is to brighten the everyday with the joy of vacations. To mark the prestigious 30th anniversary milestone of the Canadian-based airline carrier, Air Transit, the airline's revised livery scheme actually consists of a white fuselage along with a palette color of metallic silver, which actually represents a nod to Air Transit's very first livery scheme when the airline officially commenced operations in 1987, as well as the gradient shades of blue, which is actually a representation that invokes the transformative power of holidays as the gradient shades of blue were also inspired by the ocean, the skies, and the carrier's seaside destinations. 
Whereas the airline's corporate logo, which happens to be the iconic star symbol that's recognized as the emblem of its parent company, Transat, is actually displayed on the shark with wingtip devices, the rear side of the fuselage, as well as on the tail fin of the aircraft, as it symbolizes how vacation brightened our every day and the first aircraft that actually begun sporting this livery scheme was an Airbus A330-200 jetliner aircraft that bared the registration ship number C-GTSN as the commemorative livery scheme of Air Transit was actually created and designed by LOIC Loich, Loich Musilek Vaness, who also happens to be the creative art director of the Canadian-based airline carrier Air Transit. So, with all that information out of the way about this aircraft, how it came apart of their fleet, which is a game changer, as well as this nice looking, unique livery scheme you see on here as well. With no further ado, let's get down to the nitty gritty and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft mount. Shall we? Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the uh, port slash left side, where we're going to begin at the front of the aircraft, where you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the uh, fleet number right there, 703. You can see the Peter 2 static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the model review. But underneath the uh, cockpit window is the actual Airbus A321 Neo decal you see displayed there. At the time of this video review posting, Canadian-based airline carrier Air Transit is currently one of 13 airline operators in the world of aviation, along with Air Lingus, Air Arabia, Air Azores, Air Busan, Arkea, Gulf Air, JetBlue, Philippine Airlines, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, TAT Portugal, and Vietnam Airlines respectively, that also operate this particular aircraft, the next generation Airbus A321neo, new engine option, the long range version jetliner aircraft in their fleet, as well as their very first aircraft of this type, which bared the registration ship number C-GOIE, was delivered to Air Transit on May 3rd, 2019. All right, we're still at the front of the aircraft on the port side, and right next to the Airbus A321neo decal is the actual Canadian flag decal, which is this little flag decal you're looking at right here. And this flag decal actually represents the country where Air Transit currently operates from as one of the major flag carrier airlines for the country of Canada. And then you see the Air Transit billboard titled there as well in the two-tone blue, okay? All right, we're at the center of the aircraft, and right behind these engines are the actual landing gears here. You see the landing gears doors there, but more important, these nice-looking engines here. And these are the Pratt & Whitney PW1133G turbofan-type engines that are actually used on this particular Air Transit next-generation Airbus A321neo new engine option, the long-range version jetliner aircraft. You see the engine cones there as well, and then there's the engine strikes. Now, we're going to turn this... Aircraft my round, we're going to look at it from the front angle and see if these turbo fan blades do spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side. We see the engine strikes on both sides here and there as well. Now we're going to see if the turbo fan blades do spin. Let's check it out. Yes, they spin. Awesome. And then you're looking at the uh, no inboard landing light, but you got the front vision view of the landing gears you see there, including the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here. You're looking at the front of the engines here. Sorry about the front of the engines here on the starboard side, featuring the engine strikes here and there as well. And then let's see if the fan blade spin over here as well. Check it out. Yep, perfect. And then you see the front of the uh, landing gears you see there, including the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the radon nose cone, the landing gear doors, the landing gear lights inside of the landing gear doors, the landing gear strut, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears, okay? All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the uh, blended winglet wingtip devices you see right here. And it actually began back in 2009, and that's when Airbus came up with another creative name for these blended winglets, as you can see, in which the company decided to call them the Sharklets. 
which is designed to enhance payload range performance, resulting in less fuel consumption at the same time. Auckland-based Air New Zealand actually became the very first airline to have these wingtip devices installed on their Airbus A320 aircraft back in 2012. Then you see the uh, red navigation light you see displayed there as well. Then let's look at the airline's corporate logo displayed on the uh, Sharklet wingtip device you see here. This is actually the corporate logo of Air Transit, which is actually known as the star symbol, which is recognized as the emblem of transit as it symbolizes how vacation brighten our everyday lives. As this particular logo can also be visibly seen inside the Sharklet. I'm going to show you that now. There, the rear part of the fuselage. There, as well as the tail fin of the aircraft. There, okay? All right, we're still at the back of the aircraft here on the port side. I've got one thing, the registration ship number, which sits next to the, uh, the silver stripe right there. C-G-O-I-H, which is this registration ship number there. Registering ship number C-GOIH. This aircraft is actually the third next generation Airbus A321 Neil new engine option, the long range version jetliner aircraft that actually entered the air transit fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on February 4, 2020 and was delivered to air transit on February 14, 2020. All right, we're still back here on the uh, rear of the aircraft on the port side, and you see that little number up there on the tail fin. That is the 703. That is the actual fleet number for this aircraft, okay? Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and we look, what you're looking at actually is the APU, which literally stands for auxiliary power unit. There's no hole there, see there, but there's a strobe light that sits right there as well, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is. Awesome. All right. Now you're looking at the um, front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the front nose landing gear, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the fleet number you see on the landing gear door. See the Peter 2 static ports, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Airbus A321 Neo decal, the Canadian flag decal, the air transit billboard title in the multiple shades of blue as well as the front boat bend door you see displayed there. All right, we have to send the aircraft here on the starboard side, and what you're looking at is the uh, Pratt & Whitney PW1133G turbofan type engine you see there, along with the realistic detail looking of the engine cones there, and the uh, gears there, as well as the gear doors there as well. All right, now you're looking at the blended winglet wingtip device, which is known as the Sharklet, as Airbus gave it the name, is that Sharklet wingtip device, you did see there as well, as well as the corporate low displayed on this Sharklet wingtip device, and then there's the green navigation light you see displayed there as well. All right, now we're at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side, where you see the rear bolt bend door, the AFT bolt bend door you see there, the airline's corporate logo see there and there, the registration ship number, the nice little silver streak you see there, as well as the fleet number you see at the tail fin of the aircraft. Okay, before I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in its entirely full detail, that allow me to show you one additional feature, which is the rolling gears. Check it out. Rolls pretty good so far. Okay. It tilts, as you see, it tilts on its own. And then the front nose landing gear, does it swivel? Yes, yeah, it swivels a little bit. You got to be careful. They're very sensitive, though. All right. Pretty good there. So with that said, let's check out the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Check it out. All right. Now you're looking at this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front of the aircraft, as always, where you see the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. Then you slide up this way, you see the air transit billboard tiles on both sides, you see the high frequency antenna, and then there's the radon nose cone, I mean not radon nose cone, sorry, uh, the anti-collision beacon light, the ADF antenna, and then you see a uh, high frequency antenna, another high frequency antenna, and then there's the uh, tail fan of the aircraft, along with the uh, horizontal stabilizers right there as well, you see the little dot right there as well as over here. 
those little dots everyone actually call illuminator lights and the sole purpose of those illuminated lights did it actually light up this tail fin here when it flies during nighttime so let's check out the wings there's the engine right there then there's the uh, wing walkway on the wings and then there's the warning information on the wings along with the flaps, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you and then there's the uh, inside of the uh, chocolate wingtip device there including the airline's corporate logo and then you come over this way, the wing walkway, the engines, the top of the wings, along with the warning information, as well as the flap, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you, as well as the uh, sharker wingtip device on this side of the aircraft, including the airline's corporate load you see displayed there as well. All right, now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft. Might we'll start at the front there as well. The right on nose cone and then little closed door there. That's the pilot escape hatch doors. And then you see the front nose landing gear door as well as the front nose landing gears. And then we'll slide back up this way. You see a uh, high frequency antenna. Then you see the air transit billboard title you see displayed there. The anti collision beacon light you see there. The hole where the mile stand goes in at. The Gemini Jets logo. A couple more high frequency antennas. And then you come here with the APU housing door as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now we come up on here, you see the gears right there as well as the engine. You see the air transit uh, uh, billboard tiles inside the engines there as well as the wings underneath includes the flap, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you, the registration ship number as well as the, the sharkler wingtip device you see there. Now let's slide over this way. The engine's there, I mean, yeah, the engine's there. The gear is there, and then you come over here, see the air transit billboard tires inside the engine there, as well as the wings you see there as well underneath, includes the flap, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you, as well as the Charlotte wingtip device featuring the airline's corporate load you see displayed there as well. Okay, since I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model from the bird's eye view as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, now I'm going to put it on an alternate stand. I will not use the stand that actually came with the model, the tripod stand. I just don't trust them anymore. Instead, I'm going to use the alternative stand you see there, okay? So with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model on the stand. Check it out. All right, fine, got this model on the alternative stand with no problem, no hesitation. As you see it displayed in the takeoff landing position. Now, I'm going to allow this uh, aircraft model to rotate in a clockwise rotation, starting with the port side. Then you're going to look at the tail cam angle, then the starboard side, then the front of the aircraft, and then back to the port side of the aircraft. Check it out. Okay, since this particular aircraft model has no gear replacement doors, I need to show you on user models. I'm going to go ahead and take this model off the stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review, okay? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. The Air Transit Next Generation Airbus A321 Neo, new engine option. The long-range version jetliner aircraft seats 199 passengers in a two-class configured cabin layout. Here's the breakdown here, everyone, from rows 1 to 3, which will be about from here to about right here. You have 12 club class seats, and then from rows 4 to 36, which will be about from about right here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft, you have an additional 187 economy class seats, which brings a total to 199 seats. And finally, in addition to Nantes, France, and Bordeaux, France as the official inaugural flight destinations on this particular aircraft, 
Air Transit currently utilizes this aircraft or have previously utilized this particular aircraft. The next generation Airbus A321 Neo, new engine option, the long range version jetliner aircraft on routes from Montreal to Amsterdam Schiphol, Brussels, Belgium, Calgary, Alberta, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Havana, Cuba, La, 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 La Roma, 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 La Roma, Dominican Republic, Las Vegas, Nevada, Liberia, Costa Rica, Lisbon, Portugal, London, Gatwick, Los Angeles, California, Lynn, France, Malaga, Spain, Manchester, England, Marseille, France, Montego Bay, Jamaica, Orlando, Florida, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, Char Paris, Charles de Gaulle, St. Martin, San Jose, Costa Rica, San Juan, Puerto Rico, Tampa, Florida, Toronto, Pearson, Varadero, Cuba, and Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, from Toronto, Pearson, to Cancun, Mexico, Dublin, Ireland, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Glasgow, Scotland, Ongin, Cuba, La Roma, Dominican Republic, Liberia, Costa Rica, Lisbon, Portugal, London, Gatwick, Manchester, England, Miami, Florida, Montreal, Canada, Montego Bay, Jamaica, Orlando, Florida, Paris, Charles de Gaulle, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, Rome, Fumicino, Samana, Dominican Republic, San Jose, Costa Rica, Santa Clara, Cuba, and Var Varadero, Cuba. From Cubic City to Cartagena, Colombia, Cayo Coco, Cuba, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, and Varadero, Cuba. From London, Ontario to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, Ottawa, Canada to Manchester, England, and from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada to Liberia, Costa Rica, Montreal, Canada, and San Jose, Costa Rica. Those are the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting this model. This model is still available for a lot of dealers. Snatch it up if you can. I highly recommend it. So with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more mod content coming. Peace.